Have you ever felt nervous or uncomfortable or awkward whenever talking with a potential client? Well, if your answer is yes, then on today's video, you will discover some tips for eliminating these uncomfortable feelings so you can instead become more magnetic to your ideal clients. Hi there, this is Charlotte Jacobs from Thrive Academy and on today's video, you are going to discover how to connect instantly with potential clients using a system that has supported thousands of coaches and holistic practitioners to attract more clients. The system I'm talking about is the five elements of hard selling. Now we've taught this system to over 9,600 coaches and holistic practitioners at our client attraction summit. And when people learn how to use each of these five elements, they've said that it completely changed their conversations with potential clients. And we hear story after story of people getting a lot more yeses. So if you're new to the five elements, you should know these are the same five elements that are in feng shui and Chinese medicine. My background as a licensed acupuncturist allowed me to use this system and to consider how it would help me attract more clients when the time came to fill my own coaching and acupuncture practice. What we found as we've been teaching this system for the past 16 plus years is that it's pretty likely you're missing at least one of these elements. And when you discover which one you're missing and you add that element to your conversations with potential clients, you'll discover that your potential clients will energetically lean into work working with you rather than being hesitant. And you'll find that instead of you worrying about being perceived as salesy or pushy or sleazy, that people will be hungry to hear what you have to say and they'll be a lot more likely to become your client. So which of these five elements helps you go from feeling awkward or nervous, instead feeling confident and connected? The fire element is the remedy here and it's all about authentic connection. My favorite metaphor for the fire element is when it's summertime and we're sitting around the campfire with friends and you know our hearts are open and we feel that sense of ease and connection with other people. Unfortunately, if your fire element is out of balance, it's really hard to feel that authentic heart connection. If you have too much fire, we call this putting you in the sales box, that you come across as so enthusiastic about what you're offering that you actually burn, your fire will burn people, right? We don't want that. Like when you're so passionate about what you do and you overwhelm other people and then you don't even notice that they're energetically backing away, right? Or when someone, you know, maybe you've had this experience when someone is, uh, they haven't actually taken the time to get to know you or to connect with you or to build that rapport with you and they start talking about their services. So just watch out for being so passionate about what you do that your fire is overwhelming to people and you end up in the sales box. On the other side of the spectrum is not having enough fire. When this happens, you're likely to feel nervous, insecure about your work, and shy when it comes to sharing your heart with others. Now in five element acupuncture, we talk about your heart protector or your pericardium. And it's kind of like the, the you know, if you had kind of those swinging doors, you know, those old salon doors that would like protect the hearth and the kitchen or something like that, that it's kind of like that, like its job, your heart protector's job is to discern how safe it is to be vulnerable with other people. And because of childhood trauma, we often misjudge how open or how closed our heart protector should be because we're afraid of rejection. Can you relate? So the question is how open is your heart protector when you're in a conversation with a potential client? When we're stuck in a pattern of trying to keep ourselves safe, our heart protector might close down and then we feel nervous and awkward when we're with people. What we want instead is to have our fire element be in balance so that we feel really connected with others. And I know right now we're in, you know, pandemic time, we're not able to connect as easily in real life. A lot of it's on Zoom or on the phone and you can still feel that connection. And this is so, so important. When your potential client feels connected with you, you build rapport and trust. And the truth is, if you're a coach or holistic practitioner, the work is intimate and it's vulnerable for people. And why would they wanna work with you if they didn't feel connected with you? So it's so, so essential. So here are three tips to bringing your fire element into balance to eliminate nervousness and to create instant connection. So tip number one, when you know you're going to be in a conversation with a potential client, can you hold the intention for a yes without being attached to that yes? I like to go in without an agenda where I'm present in the moment and at the beginning, I'm simply looking to connect. And when you hold that intention, you're less likely to be worrying about 
how you'll be perceived, and you'll be a lot more likely to be interested in them, which makes you a lot more connected. And several of the other elements we'll be talking about in upcoming videos, I'll be sharing about this. Tip number two is to create connection with yourself first. When I first started my coaching and acupuncture practice back in 2002, social media wasn't an option, so I went to networking events. I would walk in and I would feel so nervous. I always thought I was the youngest person there. I was brand new in my business, so I didn't have a lot of confidence yet. And I felt so uncomfortable meeting new people. Maybe you can relate. People who know me now have a hard time believing that it was actually like this for me. But I've used the things that I'm teaching you in these videos to build my confidence. Back in those days, I had to do some serious personal work to create a connection with myself so that I would be able to connect with others. But because I was a licensed acupuncturist and coach, my understanding of the fire element served me really well. I used this energetic connection between my hands and my heart to connect with myself before connecting with others. Did you know there are two meridians or acupuncture channels that are close to the surface of your skin in your palms that connect directly to your heart? So you can actually impact the energy of your heart by connecting with these acupuncture points in your hands. So I would often arrive at these uh, networking events and I would feel so nervous and uncomfortable and I would rem remember that I didn't do this practice. So I'd actually go into a bathroom stall, no kidding. And I would go and do this short meditation where I put my hands on my heart and I would run this figure eight energy from these acupuncture points to my heart in, you know, this way through my body and just do a simple little meditation that would have me connect with myself and I could literally feel my fire energy building between my hands and my heart as I was imagining this figure eight happening energetically. This simple practice would have me be more connected to myself and then I could literally like feel that fire energy rising in my eyes so that when I connected with people, I felt bright, I felt magnetic and I felt connected. And so you can try this next time you're about to talk with a potential client or make a video or anything else that you have to do that does something to attract more clients. So this leads us to tip number three. If you truly want to connect with other people, make it about them. Instead of being in my own head and full of my own fears, I would instead occur as warm and friendly and magnetic to people that I met, somewhere where they could hopefully relax, feel connected, gotten and understood, and then they would want to spend more time with me, also known as would consider becoming my client. So when you show up for others in this type of energy, you will be like a magnet. People will be attracted to working with you and you will feel comfortable and confident and it takes practice. So next time you're about to have any type of conversation with a potential client or refer a partner, event host, I mean really any type of business connection, use these tips and notice how you feel differently about those conversations. So we'll be going more deeply into the fire element during the upcoming client attraction summit. And I invite you to join us and let's build that fire energy so you can connect more authentically with your ideal clients. Just click the link below to learn more. Hey, and if you found this video valuable, please let me know in the comments. And if you know any other coaches or holistic practitioners who could use this information, please share it with them. Until next time, this is Charlotte Jacobs signing off because your people are waiting for you. The Client Attraction Summit is coming soon. Claim your full scholarship now at clientattractionsummit.com.